Japan launches satellite to test fake shooting stars. The future is now? Shooting stars may become a luxury product in 2020. A Japanese startup has sent one of its test satellites into space, and if all goes well, we might witness the world's first artificial meteor shower. A satellite from a Japanese aerospace company called Astro Live Experiences, or ALE, has successfully entered Earth's orbit after being launched into space on January 18. ALE's first satellite will gather data on the environment of the Earth's atmosphere in order to determine the feasibility of creating an artificial meteor shower. The satellite was launched by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency on the Epsilon-4 rocket along with six other tech demo satellites. According to the Japan Times, the cost per launch of the Epsilon-4 is $50 million. According to a press release by the company, the satellite is designed to imitate a meteor shower by firing small 1-centimeter metal pellets at high speed into the Earth's atmosphere. The space venture company states that the pellets will not cause any damage to existing satellites or aircrafts because they will completely burn up at 60 to 80 kilometers above ground. Airplanes fly at an altitude of 10 kilometers. During a meteor shower show, the pellets will travel one-fifth of the way around Earth before entering the atmosphere. On average, 5 to 20 pellets will be released, each of which will remain visible for roughly 3 to 10 seconds. The company hopes to create its first artificial meteor shower show above the city of Hiroshima. According to ALE, the shower will be visible to over 6 million people in an area of up to 200 kilometers. But no matter how pretty the artificial meteor shower might look, it raises the following question. Do we need to throw more junk into space? The answer from space debris and space junk expert Hugh Lewis is no. In an interview with the BBC, he said, given the fact that we're trying to encourage good behavior in the space environment and so on, just to throw things up there because they look pretty is a bit problematic. Also, ordering a meteor shower for your date whenever and particularly wherever you are is not as simple as a Japanese space entertainment company makes it seem. According to Lewis, you could miss by an entire continent. But honestly, you don't need to be an expert to realize this is probably one of the galactically dumbest and most wasteful ideas ever.